The Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade and leave abortion laws up to the states has been a major part of this election. It's also meant more women are speaking about their own choices and the road to recovery that comes after that. It took more than a decade and a half for Mary Lucas to feel comfortable enough to talk about a choice that was made just as she turned 16 years old. I found that this was my time to start speaking up and speaking out about the choice that I had and the importance that um, for me to have that choice and that freedom to be able to control my own body. Much of the conversation since Roe v. Wade was overturned is about exceptions for rape, incest, or the life of the mother. But the vast majority of abortions in the United States are a choice unrelated to any of those scenarios. I was not at a place at 15 and 16 for my body to go through that. I was not at a place to um, to, to manage the social environment around me and be pregnant and, and carry a, a child, and um, I, that's my decision. And it's a choice that the now 33-year-old does not regret. I've been able to have a life I probably wouldn't have been able to, to have or it would have looked different, and um, that's something that I think about. Um, but I know that I made the right decision, and I'm making the right decision now to start talking about it. And if I'm sitting across from a woman that says, I'm pro-choice, I, I know that I did the right thing, I can't even imagine doing anything else. Um, there's no judgment there at all. And that really does help with the closure. Jackie Bonk is the director of the Raleigh chapter of Project Rachel, a ministry under the Catholic diocese that provides hope and healing for women after they've terminated a pregnancy. Some of their clients have recently had the procedure, while others went through the process decades ago. I think the biggest uh, commonality is, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that this would create problems after the fact. The, the pregnancy was taken away by the abortion, but I'm a mother now, or I was a mother, or am I a mother? I don't know what I am, but there was something that was lost. There was a lot of therapy. I, I've continued to go to therapy for just life in general, um, but I did go to therapy afterwards and made sure to talk things out with people and um, and with my parents. And for Mary Lucas, going public has been therapeutic as she maintains her fierce belief in choice. The challenging part of having an abortion for me was not being able to talk in public about it and not being able to talk to you about it and not being able to share my story so that it normalizes what abortion looks like. It's not always rape or incest or for health reasons. I just don't want a baby. And that's my choice to do that and I think that's the conversation that I want to normalize. The lack of feeling free enough to share such a personal story is common. Wherever they are pro-choice, pro-life, that they are hurting. They're hurting and they all tend to when I ask the question uh, do you need to grieve they all tend to say yeah. They don't know really what they lost. Some, some know more than others and have a sense of that. But there was a need to grieve that didn't happen. Is it difficult to separate personal opinions about being pro-life and talking to women about the choice they didn't make? All of the people that work in our organization, um, counselors and companions, uh, are supportive of the model of non-judgment, compassion, and walking with a person where they're at. If they don't have that attitude, they're not going to be a part of our organization. There are many women that have abortions, and I'm one of many of those. And to be able to normalize this conversation and, and get this message out there, that I hope that it helps us for the better um, moving forward. It's clear that there is that help and support out there for women. And it's so important. I, I mean, I think we're talking more about mental health in general mm -hmm. since COVID, right? Right. Um, and I think it is important for people to know that there is help. Right. And if you want to learn more about Project Rachel, if you're out there and see if it's the right place for you, of course, I'll have that link for you at CBS17.com. It might be the right avenue, but there are other avenues out there as well. Yeah, very important conversation.